onto that one. Here we're going to have both of these going to have the green. The dark one will have these are solid dyes, well, these aren't translucent dyes. So these want a tiny drop. Like that. Huntress, the plan is I'm going to do a couple more bracelets once we've got the resin cast done. Uh, and I've got a nice bit of Wenge ready to cut down. Hmm, it's possible. I mean, you'd guess it's it's an intentional choice to have them of different sizes. That might be a bit heavy on the white there. We'll find out. And definitely really light on the black here. If I can. Teeny tiny drop of black. Rodi's attempt at helping decorate the outdoor tree. You decorate the tree. Yeah, you decorate the tree. I. That's uh. Actually, that's not the picture, is it? Directly, that's this cordy link. It's probably going to say I need to log into Discord again. It always goes, you need to log into Discord. Just like that. Please log in again. All right, let's, let's do the scanny barcode Discord thing. Um... Sessings. Where do we scan the barcode thing? Is it down here? Down there. Can net out scan QR code. It'll be that one. There we go. Hey T W, how you doing? Um. If you right click on the picture, if you, if you open the picture up in Discord, right click on it and then choose copy uh, link, that should give a picture that I can just import straight away rather than opening it up in Discord. Uh, but as we're at this point here, and I think I think you must have copied the link to the post rather than the picture. There we go. Log in. Yes, that's me. Oh, it's a video clip. Ah, that'll be it. Uh, do I want to join a party? No, we don't like people. But then that... Uh, now you get it. It's this one here, isn't it? Yeah, you didn't want didn't want that one there, did you? No. Can take any more down for you, Mum. Ah, ah. Listen, little pussy cats, eat. I will point out it's your own fault for leaving a step stool next to a tree. 
Oops. Just, just putting it out there. It's a Hellion, or a Helion, one of the two. And yet, knowing this, Huntress, you still leave the ladders out there. I mean, that's what that's all I'm saying. Oh, uh, that's a three for that paw. This one here, we're going to go with. Okay, we'll just pre drip the alcohol inks in so they can just mix together. Let's go a bit stronger on the alcohol ink than. And the micas and dies. Way too tempting. Way too tempting. I mean, it's clearly the sole purpose of them being put there is as something to play with. That is their reason, their raison d'etre. I'm thinking I might try on this one, putting some of the gold in all three colours, so that's sort of mixed mixed through. Or I could just put it in one colour. Ooh, gold. What do you think? Gold across the whole lot, or just in one colour? Choices. I've never had much look for gold. It's always floated to the top because I've always used it in the light the the slow assessing resin before there you go all three it is <laughs> put those away right that is our pause prepared that is our triple cu pouring cups ready from last time. That resin's all properly cured. Not an issue that being in there still. Uh, so we're going to go with a 300, so 150-150 mix. Split that between all six pots. Pour them into the fancy pour cups. And pour that into... The moulds, put the moulds in the pressure pot, and then we'll leave them till tomorrow. And then we can see what we've got. Exiting times. Let's put you there. Oh boy, oh boy, it happened. He gets an Owen pen. We we we, we get we, we 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 get a fanfare and everything. Ba 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 that delicate satin draped frame As it clung to her thigh How it started to cry yeah, that, that is, that is what I mean, you, you, you all know that's what the, what, what, what the fanfare's from It was the best, it was the best fanfare I could find <laughs> Random Tinkerer, I will get you sorted out with a coupon to use on the website. I will have all of my pens, with the exception of dip pens, on the website um, later on, late tonight, early t or tomorrow, one of the two. Pretty much everything's up there now. We've just got those last few pens to go. So you get a voucher. Uh, the way it actually works is it'll be a voucher of £25 to use against any pen. So if you want to use it towards a more expensive pen, uh, and make top up the difference, that is perfectly fine. Um, and now that I've actually got all the pens on the website, we can do that properly rather than going, here's a box full of pens, which one do you want to pick? You can just go, that's one here, use the voucher, place the order, job done. Uh, so I will sort you out with the, with the voucher for that. And then, then you can order off the website when you see something that you like the look of.
Yay. Congratulations. Thank you for that as well. Good timing as well, because it's just voice ossipouring resin. Otherwise, we'd be in all sorts of a mess by now. Um, let's get the lids off the resin. Pots. Part A is always the easy one. Part B is always the not so easy one. You were going to wait, but no, some people would have done. They, they, they would have gone. You know, let's just wait to the most awkward point. Catch him just as he's pouring the resin. And, and and then you'd have got ignored and everyone would have been really mad with you for spoiling spoiling the view of the resin pool. That's how that would have gone. Uh, you, you'd have had no satisfaction whatsoever. Uh, you'd just been ostracised for, for being a pain if you'd done that. So it's a good job you didn't, really. Get the cheat. That's the only thing this is any good for. <laughs> Even then, it's sometimes questionable how good it is. Why do they have to make lids? Why do they make resin that actually seals itself in? There's got to be a better solution to this. I mean, clearly, a better solution is put it where it get a bit more pressure. Crescent wrench. Got a strap wrench. What more do you want? Still need. It's not just the hot. It, it's the vertical pressure. It's one of those stupid push it down to release to stop small beings getting into it. They just forgot to define small. Maybe a strong man. That's what I, that's what I need, Huntress. I need a strong man. Oh, honey, but the wrong man. He's judicious. Hey, protein. Just feel like it's turning at least. Yeah, we're, we're, we're clearly onto a bit of a Rocky Horror theme tonight. Now that we've had that um, fanfare from the pen. That does feel like it's actually unscrewing, but just not doing anything. You need to open and give it to a fight. Exactly. That's what I need to do. We need to find some random kid who's not tucked up in bed already because it's like quite late for them. And just give it to them. Go, Can you open this bottle for us, please? TW, if a sender opens to you, can one of your kids open it? It was bad, Dad. He'd poke a hole in his side by now. And then it would be absolutely useless for storing the remaining resin. I mean, at least... The resin in there... Isn't going to go bad, this way. Oh, oh, he'd take one of your good jars. That's... <sighs> I 
never had get Colson right on it. Yep. There we go. There we go. See, it, that, that, that was the threat it needed. That was clearly the threat it needed. Yay! <laughs> well, there you go. That's my workout for the month done. Removing a lid. How can that be so difficult to take one lid off a dirty jar? Not having that. <laughs> and that's me next week buying more of that stuff. So let's bring this back next week. Next week. Next week is the week that I'm going to Harrogate for the North of England Woodworking and Power Tool Show. Um, so I'm going on the Thursday. Uh, the show itself is on the Friday. Um, so there will not be a stream next Thursday. But, but, as long as I can get a signal there, I do hope to do an afternoon, Friday afternoon stream, having a look around the show. Uh, probably about 2pm. One fifty there. Thought you're going to say stream from Betty's. Well, that is a put option. Uh, I'm just going. I'm not selling at that one. Uh, I'm just going for for the day on the Friday. And I've got to come. I've got to be back home. I've got a market on the Saturday. Um. There, the, the, there, there is a thought of going to Betty's for afternoon tea. I was going to book the fancy one upstairs, but apparently they only do the fancy one upstairs that you have to pre-book at the weekends. But if the queue isn't too big, um, there could well be afternoon tea at Betty's on the cards for Thursday. And if it is, I'm sure some photos will be sent on Discord. Go. And then we're definitely into a season of being all over the place a little bit. Um, about two weeks after that, I'm going over to Rotherham to visit my friend for a few days. Uh, so I won't be streaming the Tuesday or Wednesday that week. It's towards the end of, end of November. I've got at least, I, I might have, oh, I might have a Christmas light switch on market. Um, I said I was going to do it, but I've not heard back from the organiser. Um, on a, I think it's a Tuesday evening, that one. In mid-November. Um, and I'd probably try and set up a, a basic phone stream, at least, from that. And the start of December, I've got, I've got nine days straight of doing markets. I've got another Christmas light switch on one on the second, the Friday afternoon evening. Could try and stream from there as well. Got my regular Saturday and Sunday markets. And then I've got five days doing a lunchtime, five hour lunchtime market in Liverpool. But I'm going to stay in Liverpool for that. So um, we could hopefully do a, a trip to Liverpool Christmas market one evening. 
You doing any markets up north? Liverpool, Manchester's north, isn't it? I'm, I'm not going any, any any further north. I think uh, officially the the furthest north I will be is probably oh it's it's a tough call between Urmston and Staley Bridge. I think probably Staley Bridge just edges it. Apparently there's a market on at uh, Harewood House. Is that this weekend? That looked quite good. But completely the wrong area for me to go. Right, so let's pour those into the pouring pots, mix them, then pour them into the pouring pots. So six way even split for this is the plan. And if I've not poured enough resin, we'll just pour as many of these pendants as we can in the pots that we've got. Actually, quite a nice thing about doing it this way is just because I've got 12, was it 12 molds there? I don't actually have to fill them all if I run out of resin. I suspect that might be the case. I could have probably just done. 300 in one set of colours. Scrape that down as best I can. And let's get these mixed in. So we'll start off on the alcohol inks. I mean, an awful lot of this one. I think I might have underestimated the uh, amount of resin I was mixing. That's an understatement. Definitely underestimated the amount of resin I was mixing. We have done 400 at least. That right, so just means that some of the... Uh, the moulds will get left for another pour. Seems very light on that one. Give those the best mix I can. They might be quite pale colours by the looks. And these will be stronger because he's got the resin, so the, the mica and the dye in the re, in the resin rather than the alcohol inks. It's going to have a nice. Goldish colours, that one. 
I'm liking the warm orange, the warm yellows that's, that are coming out of this. The the yellow on its own is a bit meh, a bit too pale, but mix it with just a little orange, a little bit of metallic, and get some very nice colours on the yellow. So a pale green. suddenly hit the die there. Do you see how quickly that suddenly went for me? Like, meh, might be green. Two, two, yeah, there's definitely some green in there. And then we should have a darker green. With blue glitter. At the gym, watching me, Mr. Motivator. Do your gym workouts, otherwise you'll look like this man. Yeah, I think that blue glitter is going to come out quite nicely in that. Let's just go back. That's the one that I'm least happy with how it's mixed. I think we've had a lot of that alcohol ink just slow to the top there. That could be quite transparent, that one. Right, let's pop these into pouring pots. Get the thermometer out, check where we're up to, and see where it goes from there. We'll go with the orange right in the middle, because that's the smallest amount. I'm pouring a jelly, this. Pink in there. I think it was meant to be magenta. It's pink though. And the blue, that blue should look quite nice. So these, I think, are going to be a very soft colour when they're poured. They're going to be a very a tint of colour rather than a strong presence. That's that one. Let's get the stronger colours out. It's a fine balance, I think, sometimes, trying to get just a light translucent versus not having it absolutely solid. Uh, and we'll go yellow in the middle again. That to one side. Go for light green on this side. That light green might be a bit too close to the colour of the blue. We'll see what happens when it's poured. It's looking very similar to the blue at the moment.
getting your hot body ready for me. Aren't I the lucky one? And the dark green with the blue glitter on that side there. Bit of an overspill. Not to worry, because we're going to get blended together in a minute anyway. Got that one there. Off to check the post. See you later, Huntress. Right, that is those finished with. So, next stage. The mummometer. We're not exactly getting toasty here. We're definitely 17 degrees, 18 degrees. Okay, that's at 22 degrees. I'll give it a little bit to uh, to warm up. Um, if they don't warm up, we'll pour them as they are. So I think certainly that green, yellow, is going to go in the tall one there into that one uh the light colors i kind of like the idea of some of these more complex prints having the light colors so i might put those three to one side for that um actually i'll put that on that side i'll go with that because that's a good solid print right the way around that's probably better for the light colors Do the same there and there. So we've got three light colours, four, although very deep dark colour. We'll go light. I'd love that to work in the light colours. I'd love to do like proper individual segments on that, but I think that would just be too slow. Certainly too slow with this resin. Although maybe not today. Up here over there. And I'll just put those two in the middle. It's going to be a question of how long that one lasts, holds out, as to how much you can pour with that. Um, before I, I've only got the other one to pour. And that's going to be a big deciding factor here. Which deciding, deciding factors? That's up to about 24. That one's slowly getting up into the 20s. Not from that side. That side's freezing cold. Not freezing, it's 18, 19 degrees. So, um, yeah. I don't, I don't think we're in a mad rush. Yeah. What temperature is it saying in here at the moment? 13 degrees. We're probably on the cool side for doing resin pouring, actually. Probably pushing our look a bit, even doing the pour in this same temperature. It's not cold, but, you know, it's not exactly toasty. Warm it up. I'll well, put it in the toaster. Um, I'm hoping the sides don't leak. And um, um, the, the 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 sides and the bases actually look fairly. There's no visible 
gaps in them, so I'm hoping we'll get away with those. Keep it close to you. You're hot. Uh, thank you, Ewok, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, to take a risk. I'm sorry. It's all going in the pressure pot, and the pressure pot does have a uh, lined got a line into it so we, we we can we can just about cope if it goes horribly wrong well, that's going up to about 26 25 26 depending which one i point it at <laughs> it just randomly drops to 18 on that one Give that a few more minutes. We'll see what happens. So once we've got these poured and in the pressure pot, uh, they've got four hours to wait. So that, that's that's the resin pour done for the evening once that's happened. Um, it is, however, only 20 to 10. So definitely got bracelets to, put, to, to make. Um, sold a few, made a few the other week, sold a small number of them over the week over the past couple of markets. Um, I've only got six left at the moment, and, you know, a full stand's about at least eight. So and I've also got Huntress wants, wants a specific one making up. Um, so, yeah, we'll do, we'll do a few bracelets add to that collection. If I can get those up to maybe 10, 16 bracelets ready to go, that'd have, I'd be happy with that for now. Uh, pendants, I've got so many pendants to turn, um, and always, always, always need more. Uh, pine cones, I need to buy a pack of decent pine cones, so I can do a pack another pine cone casting. Um, I forgot to pick those up the other day. I went in, I was saying that I des definitely, that was one thing I needed to get, was a pack you know, this is the time of year for buying bags of nice quality pine cones that are properly dried and everything like that, because everyone gets them for Christmas. Uh, so I saw them in I saw them in in the garden centre. I knew I wanted to buy them, and by the time I left, completely forgot. That's the way it goes. Right, I think I might have to just try pouring these as they are. Um, it will probably affect how well they mix because they are definitely not at a suitable temperature for completely separated colours, but they are definitely not really reacting. I mean, that one's getting... That's 25, 26. That's 27, 28. But if you think that 35 is the number we're aiming for, that might stand a chance of getting there. I'm not sure this is even going to reach. I'm getting 25 in the middle there. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe tomorrow. I want to settle down. Until tomorrow. We've also got... Um, so we did a couple of the pens, and they're on the website. The pens that we turned out of that in Euro Eurostyle, they're on the website. Um, those are the second mixed um, resin shape castings that we did. We've got those, some of those to make. Want we'll to have a look at those, see how they come out. That's definitely on the list. Um, and I was thinking, I've got some sheets, some planks of ebony, very thin planks of ebony. And I was thinking, ebony cut into chunks and cast into a light colour, into a resin. Because uh, a few people were talking about doing that as a hybrid wooden resin casting. And I can go, I, I can definitely, I've got drawers full of thin 
sheets of wood waiting for something to do. Uh, I can definitely see that being a good option, trying uh, wood cubes in a resin cast. We're getting there. 27, 28. 29. It is slowly getting to a temperature. Let's check that one. That's more resin. We'll just keep waiting. Sounds ideal. Keep waiting a bit, a bit longer, a bit longer, a bit longer. Ah, uh, so some more fountain pens. I've got a, two or three fountain pen kits. I'm kind of. I know I should order some more fountain pen kits, but I'll keep looking at it, thinking, do I want to spend that much money on more fountain pen kits at the moment? My crochet hook kits have not arrived yet. Uh, they were posted over a week ago, a week, a week, a week ago on Monday, uh, first class, but there were more mail strikes last Wednesday, and apparently they've got delayed in the system. According to the supplier, I, I emailed them yesterday, sort of, and not come, and they, they got back to me today saying um, that apparently they've got delayed in the system, but, but we can let you have the tracking code if you want, so we'll, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. Um, when they arrive, because I've got 14 sets of crochet hooks being on, on order. So obviously when they arrive, we'll, we'll have a, a, a crochet hook making session, get all 14 of those turned up, ready to go. If I can have those ready for like the early December markets, that would be great. Um, got plenty of seam rippers to turn still got a fair few european pens lots of slim lines so there's lots of pens i can be making don't need that many slim lines i can work to my europeans get those finished off but i need to order more of those then uh walk in the rain for an empty post box joys As long as it's not because Bad Dad's already been done the collection, then then we're okay. Yeah, that 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 would just be the 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 the, the, the killer punch that it's only empty because Bad Dad's already been there and picked up the post. Right, that's getting up to about thirty-one. <laughs> Not any worry that you would melt. How, how, how are you going to melt in the rain? 32. We're getting there. 33. I think that one's near enough ready for a pour. That's getting quite thick as well. That's... I'm, I'm slightly worried that that's thickening up much more because you're so sweet. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, saccharin. I'm going to start pouring these because that's actually getting quite thick. We'll start off with a deep one there. So either the temperature is just completely lying or the temperature was just completely lying or I think the other possibility is oh look at how much that's sunk in the middle
I don't think I've got enough left in that to pour any more. Don't be making taffy pendants. We leave that sort of thing to, to Boyd himself. And let's go for And again, I'm not going to risk the amount that's left in there for another pour. Um so we'll leave that. So we're gonna have six, probably about nine pendants out of tonight's pour. By the looks of it, let's just carefully transfer those Give that a little top up. I think we're actually going to get some nice colours out of both of these by the looks. As long as... No, they're all getting too thick now. As long as those voids don't take up too much of the resin in, you know, filling in. So, let's pop that under pressure. The air hose on there. And we're good. All the little bubbles go pop, exactly. Uh, which still means I've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, so yeah, another... I guess not quite double what I poured. Oi, frog. Oi, oi. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. I guess not quite double what was poured, but maybe an extra 60%, 50%, 60% would have been ideal. But it's not a major problem because it just means that those, those five there um, will do their own pour in a little bit not tonight because that's going to take four hours in the pressure pot gives us a bit of a better mix of colours that's all it comes down to is that leaking air somewhere? no nope. we're fine let's pop that to the side there. I'm surprised by how long that um airline's taking to fill. There it goes. It's full. It's done its thing. So, so, so. Um pendants poured. We will get to see what they're like tomorrow evening. Um I may I'm not sure what I've got time what times I've got tomorrow. It's possible, oh, put those in last time, they 
cure up nicer for putting the pressure pots. They're okay outside, it doesn't, not the end of the world. It's possible I might get them out of the pressure pots in the daytime and pour the other four and then have the other five, other five, and then have them available to turn tomorrow evening as well. Uh, that could work out quite well if that's viable. Uh, but, but have I got something to throw those into while they cure? No. I could do with a big Ziploc type bag some, or something like that that those all silicon pots go into um, while they cure to stop them getting gunk everywhere. I know I can put them for now though. We're not using the scroll saw tonight. I do want to use the scroll saw in the near future um, to do some more of those oak with veneer inlay pen blanks. Um, I haven't got any of those left. And also the accent pen blanks. Um, I, I looking back at different things that I've done, and I'm still quite liking the, the simplicity of oak with either an accent colour at the ends from the offcuts, or um, just the veneers running through. So I think that is something that I would happily go back to and do a few more of. That means we're using the scroll saw again, not use the scroll saw for a little bit. Other than as a suitable table for holding blocks of wood that still need work doing. I need to get that project finished, but that's just a CNC project. And that's just, that's for a friend getting um, those hexagons engraved with alphabets for her mini beast. Mm. Let's put the thermometer away. Let's put those can just sit on top of the 3D printer for now. Um, not going to start a new print on anything today, I don't think. Nope. So, where does that? Leave us. First things first, um, bracelets, because I know I've said I'll get one made up for Huntress. So, these are the bracelet blocks that I've already got cut, not drilled. In this bag here, we have a whole load of, well, we've got some pen blanks. We've got some bracelet blocks. These have been cut and drilled. That one actually is the pine cone and resin. So that's some pine cone and resin for a bracelet there. But none of these, I think... Let's get them all out. But I don't think any of those are in the right wood for what Huntress is wanting. Um, nope. The rest of those are pens. I do have some resin slim lines, which I need to do some turning off. Um, but that's another get done this week. So I want to finish off those pens that are prepped up. Blocks game. It, 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 it almost is, Benny. It almost is. Uh, no, Huntress, I'll, I'll, I, need, I need to make... Uh, I need to do some more bracelets, because I've only got six bracelets at the moment. That they're a nice little Christmas gift type thing. Um, so if I'm doing bracelets, and I have... It was the Wenge that you liked. And look, I've got a conveniently sized, almost perfectly sized piece of Wenge that I can cut down to do some bracelets out of. So so not an issue at all. I'll get that cut down to some bracelet blocks. We'll drill that through, um, and we'll get some bracelets made. So let's go cross onto... Oh, that one not playing nice. We need to reset that one. Uh, bear with me a minute while we go and reset that camera. Do the whole scene's going to go dead. Microphone's going to go dead. We'll turn the camera off and on again. Hopefully things will work. Just like that. So, let's just cut this one down into some pendant size blocks, a suitable template block, that one there. Is 
to, definitely a I think this particular bandsaw blade is starting to dull a bit as well, so we might be due a trip to Warrington for new bandsaw blades before too long. Or ordering them online. Pa apparently that's the thing, you can order things online, who knew? I could probably just get a, slim, a true slimline pen out of one of these. Probably just wide enough to turn into a pen. I only need one of them for... But I'll cut that as a pen blank for now. Let's see what's left. I'm not turning anything, but I'll put it in my pen blank box. There we go. That's back on the pile of who knows what we're doing with. And let's grab our test piece. Well, that was delayed. Everything's delayed at the moment. The world's delayed. It's a good length there. I could have even maybe got some bracelets out of those pink square pieces. I think they might have been just a hair too short for that though. Just realised I hadn't opened up the blast gate. No wonder the vacuum wasn't sounding happy. Stop it! Stop what you're doing! No! One. Two. Three and a tiny chunk. There we go. Put them up there. Change the vacuum over. Done the band saw for now. What devilry is that? You see no redeem. What do you mean, Sankai? No redeem. What? 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 What are you? What are you not seeing? What are you missing? I do fanfare. That's yay. Yay! It's like that, see? Yay! Yay! I'm fully expecting anyone who clicks that button to, at the same time as they click it, go, Yay! I have this little visual in my head of that's what you're doing when you, when you click it. I'm probably... Bitterly disappointed if I saw the reality of it going, oh, that'll do, press that one. <laughs> Whatever. There you go, commands. I mean, it doesn't tell you... Oh, it won't include... Well, first of all, commands doesn't include any of the channel point redeems. There are also a few built-in commands. Is, 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 is. Um, 
that don't go on the commands list because they're not done through that bot system. But you will tell. See, it tells you just just how many wonderful people have used each of those commands. Or abuse is probably more likely the case, mainly. Somewhat anticlimactic. Yeah. It's a bit of a letdown now, Huntress. You resemble you, you do resemble that remark. That is completely true. Right, how many of these have I got that I can drill? So how many have I got that I can turn straight away? I've got ten there that are actually drilled ready for turning. I've got Oh, we've not got any, any Padukes. Padukes always a nice one. Um, and that Ebony one, definitely want to get that. So we'll pull those into the definitely want to get drilled out right now pile. Benny, thanks for stopping by. Have yourself a good evening. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. 11 got that one there as well so yeah we'll start off with a bit of drilling of these uh get them drilled up and then we'll start turning them and one of those ones huntress one of those ones oh ebony hmm you're not telling me after all that effort i've gone to to finding wenge just 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 for you especially for you just purely for you you're taking your fancy to my ebony Met your sort before. We need to drill. We need. Owen's bespoke pen is nice. Exactly. Uh, not that you can see it right now because cause it's not in here. That's the other thing that I need to go back to making is bespoke pens. I feel like I've not really had the chance to do any of those for a while. Uh, it's, 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 it's nice and warm in the house at the moment, Huntress. I mean, Huntress could show you a bespoke pen, but maybe she got Huntress has never seen it, apparently. Bad Dad cherishes my pen. He's got it locked in a box. I should I should have sent him the Crayola, shouldn't I? It seemed it seemed the right thing to do at the time to, to get Crayola and I completely forgot when I went to the post office to post post the pen. Oh, do you not hear Sanke? He's been, he's, he's been ousted. The revolution is over. The bad dad coup. It's finished. I don't remember who it, it was. Um, I, I I know exactly who who actually won it. And and as you say, it would have been a far more deserving recipient of it. I think you'll find it was Clyde.
And I think I've seen him about once in the past year. Maybe twice. Maybe twice. Uh, don't think you did, Netkisser. Huntress, un unless there's something Bad Dad's hiding from us all, then he, he wouldn't pass the vesting process for, for President straight away. You know, don't you have to have like a hundred million minimum in your bank account to be even eligible for the first round of applications? You saw cat streaming. Oh, I've seen cat. I've seen cat streaming. It has been seen on rare occasions. I'm fairly convinced that uh, the, 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 the first and foremost requirement is being wealthy enough to look down on the top 0.1%. Star sticker wall, nice. Oh, there was a picture locally uh, yesterday of uh, a beluga taking off from Harden, getting struck by lightning. Apparently made close to bang. And it's got this, like, plane in the middle of a lightning bolt. Uh, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's quite a common occurrence. Just not necessarily so close to ground at takeoff but yay Donny how you doing We go three potential options for Huntress there. I did wonder so r around here if anyone talks about a beluga, they're talking about a plane. Oh no, not again. Stick a wall pick. Uh, not that one, not that one, that one. Got a fine on it, start, that's a good starting point. And there's a, a stick and a baby screw waiting to go on it. And a Raspberry Pi. It's a it's a good start. Good start. We need to add more, add more, add more stickers there. I thought there was an article came up on CNN last week about the beluga making its first trip to North America in 10 years. Boy, took us in the car. There you go. <laughs> there were stocks. Sticks to the wall. Darn it. Is that how you decide whether, they need, whether it's time to wash them or not? If they fall off the wall, they'll do another day.
Yeah, there's one that Huntress is definitely not having. It's a bit of ebony. Ebony and ivory. Need to pick out my um, dividers. Marking these out as we turn them. They're quite a nice sort of fast little turn on these. Once they're prepped, same as so many things. Once you've done the prep work, the actual turning straightforward. Uh, making bracelets, Donny. Little, little wood bead bracelets. So they go on a length of leather that has a double stiffness on them. Um, makes a, goes over the wrist and just down. It's little, little projects of the offcuts of wood that you got lying around. And they always seem to go down quite nicely. People seem to quite like them. Very simple idea. I do have some pen blanks that I want to want to uh, do some turning of some new pen blanks, but that might be a tomorrow. Although tomorrow I'm going to have tomorrow I'm going to have the new pendants to turn. There's too many things to make. Always a problem. Way too many things. I need to start streaming like eight days a week. We made some of these. We had a, a, a restock of these, what was it, about two weeks ago? And already need to, to restock again. Oh, the the green one with the gold that didn't that didn't last too long. I've still got the plain green, but the 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 green resin with the gold that that was an early departure. That was actually a really nice effect. I, I was one thinking it could work quite nice on some of the woods as well. Maybe not the lighter woods, but certainly on the darker woods, putting the the gold gilding on rather than the burn lines. I think rather than brushing it through, you put it on, then just sand back the edges. <laughs> it would make a form. Um, it would certainly speed up the peck drilling a lot, but uh, I'm not sure I can get one that's ready made for this lathe. And I, as I don't have a mill, I'm not sure I could make one. I mean, that's, that is definitely the advantage that the uh, drill press has for this sort of drilling, having the lever. How much travel? Uh, generally speaking, the longest one things that I drill are going to be the <coughs> um, seam rippers. So they would need a travel of that one's a seam ripper kit. Right. 
That's a seam ripper tube. Nah. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, not doing good, Mecca. Sorry to hear that. Old drum. And boots, obviously. Um, so, the actual tube length is a hair under 80 mil. Um, at about five, so, so it, it, it would need about eight, 85 mil travel, I guess, um, to do the longest of the tubes that I do regularly. In one, pa in one go without resetting the tailstock. Hundred mil be more than plenty, yeah. I mean, what's this one got? This I think this is a hundred mil RAM on this tailstock. Um, I was just over a hundred. Hundred and. I think this this one's got 110. And lots lots of wines of the handle. But so, 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 so my little lathe's got a, um, I think it's about 20, about, about a 50 mil, um, run on it. Morse 2, yes. And... It's a world of difference being able to drill in a single pass on the 100 mil um, that this ram's got versus the 50 mil, which always needs recessing on the smaller, um, smaller lathe. Bad dad's behind you crying. That that dare we ask what's about? What's up his new machine installs got to start over? Oh Tell him, tell him, tell him. I mean tell this tell him this is from everyone. That if he reads the instructions first, he's less likely to make a mistake. You can't always have Freaky on hand to tell him what to do. Yes, all the sympathy from me. <laughs> Hello, bad dad. How are you? 
I'm guessing we probably don't need that translating. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move on. Great, 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 great. Exactly, Tandem Tinkra. Exactly. How do you mess up a machine install on what is probably a Mac? Aren't they literally designed to be idiot-proof? <laughs> Spe his special type. He, 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 he's our special idiot huntress. Not when you start making sim links, or install something which starts making sim links to your pasta in some hidden location. Bad dad. Just, just because you're on, just, just, just. Just, just because you're on Stack Exchange and someone tells you to use RM minus RF slash doesn't make it a good idea. Yeah, always playing bad dad. Regardless of whose fault it is. So you can do something the Mac way, or you can do it the proper way. Just be, be aware, if you do it the proper way, it probably won't work. I have fortunately not had to play the Mac in anger for a long time. That's going to remind us that Macs are, at their heart, just Linux these days. It's like Linux after it had like the midlife crisis facelift. More ways than one. Exactly these days. And boss, yeah, exactly. That 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 is the one. Mechaform, mechaform. You you you've obviously uh. Yep, there you go, bad dad. Sanko's got the uh, the answer for your, all your problems. And if you just copy that random bit of code you found on the internet, nothing will possibly go wrong.
Wait, which part was it for you then, Mechaform? The, the shiny convertible, or did you go motorbike? You know, you know what I'm Huntress isn't getting the hand-me-down, is she, bad dad? Is, is, is it? Bad, da bad dad gets fancy new computer, Huntress gets bad dad's old computer. Is, is that the deal here? 4 to 5.7 leads to Pontiac Convertible. Hmm. There's a reason they don't sell cars like that here, Mechaform. Or if, if they do, you know, the, the, the car itself might only cost you £100 that you need to take a mortgage out to pay for the fuel. Skookum. Actually, I've had to think like, a 5.7 litre car would be like, buy, buy 10 tanks of fuel, get one car free. Skookum as frig. There we go. They smell funny. Mm. Do do the computers go through withdrawal symptoms? Is that the problem, Huntress? Have you ever wonder what computer looks like going cold turkey? Let's get one of Bad Dad's hand me downs. More of these we've got to go seven I could drill. I'm kind of inclined to just get them all drilled. How many we end up turning tonight could be a different question, but I'm kind of inclined to just get them all drilled. Get the job done. Let's put that olive wood. That's nice olive wood, actually. Day three of install. What are you doing to that computer? Poor thing.
Oh yeah, Sankai, my, um, my, my, my apologies need to go to you. I've, I've seen the list of, uh, the, the, the latest, the latest list of our deportees, um, who have, uh, quite recently landed. It's, it's like going back to old times, isn't it? You know, what, 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 one, once a year, we, we collect together all the Rongans in British society and we ship them off to Australia. Only, only now we call it entertainment. Yeah, yeah, once, once, once a year. We, we, we definitely still do that. How many Christmas? Now it's... <laughs> it used to be a holiday in the sun. How many do you need to make? Uh, 60. No, I guess 60. Yeah, they, the, 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 the latest batch for I'm a Celebrity have been sent over. We're, we're kind of hoping that none of them come back, to be honest. My, my my Christmas card list is generally one, two, three, four, five, maybe six cards at a push. Well, the funny part of that is Sankai. Uh, actually, lots of people do watch it, but but nobody really knows who the celebrities in this are. Um, I, 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 quite a few people have been congratulating themselves on doing quite well this year and recognizing a few names on the list. You know, Boy George, I think most people have probably heard of him. Um, Chris Moyles is on the list this year, and he, he is at least well-known in the UK because he was like the Radio 1 breakfast show DJ host for about 10 years. Um, uh, Mike Tyndall, former rugby player and now married to a royal. So so definitely know that one as well. And and Matt Hancock has uh, just, just gone into it, who was the health secretary through the COVID pandemic. Um, that was a great article in The Guardian today about how he saved everybody else from ever having to do a bush trial trial. Because... Because the British public will will quite happily vote for him to do every single trial every single time. Apart from them, though, the rest of them no idea who they are. Let's focus so you can fuck it up properly this time. Exactly. It takes effort to mess it up seriously. Four more to drill. And then we can start turning some of them. All those names, except maybe Boy George. Yeah, so... Yeah, and that, that, that's the sound of all the rest of them going over my head. Um, but it is quite nice that we get to kick them out of the country, even if it is only for a few weeks. You know, I think we should do it more traditionally next year. Um, ah, oh, bad dad, thank you. We've not seen your face for ages. When are you next streaming? Come on. Is it, is, is it going to be the Christmas special? Is that the next stream that we're getting from you? Yeah, no, we, we ought to do it properly and actually just sort of put them on on a sailboat, you know, spend a couple of months transporting them. Any look, it sinks halfway across.
Yeah, we, we need to, to, to old school a bit with, with that bunch. Mitchell, how you doing? Once power the internet's back up around the world. 2025. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Bad Dad's next stream will in fact be a shadow show performed by candlelight with a bed sheet hanging in front of him. Let you know who survived the 7th of November. What's the 7th of November? I know what the 5th of November is. What's special about the 7th? The 8th. It, my, my, my question is still the same. Oh, midterms. Okay. A phrase I occasionally hear in the news. I still don't really understand what they are. I know it's some some election to do with Congress or something like that, but I'm not entirely clear on who who within the system's getting elected in the midterms. It's never. Full pre, you just you just putting random words out now about that. What the hell's a full pre midterm administration? Hmm. That got a bit smoky, but fantastic smell of the olive on that. Yeah, olive oil. Olive wood oil. Mm. It's worth overheating. Full pre midterm manipulations will expire. Still, still none the wiser. Fair enough. I'll Google it later. One more to drill. Yay.
All after being done. Ooh. So. Just turn that distraction off for a second. Turn the lathe off for a second. Let's pop our chucks and things away and get out in their place. Just go for a dead centre. We'll do the job nicely enough. Got that in there. Um, sleeve for four mil drill bit. One dead, one live. Uh, dead centre. Live centre. Moves the chuck. Get the small tool pack, tool rest out. Just stack those at the end of the lathe. Growing ridiculously large fistfuls. You're never going to. Current fight. Ooh. What are you doing to that poor computer? It's externals everywhere. What is that outside it? Linux CNC build. Ooh. Is this because you can or because you need to do it yourself to do something specific? All right, let's throw this one in first. It's a potential one for Huntress. Camera. Don't want to put too much pressure on this. The Wenge uh, does have a bit of a blowing apart tendency. So this one could very well just spin when I put the tools on it um and that being the case we're going to go roughing out i think but yeah if i if i put too much pressure on the wenge because it's so open grained it will just split apart And it's a fine balance of just getting enough pressure to spin it. Without damaging it. Center lines, yes. You know what? You're quite off center. Talking of centers, let's let's center you a bit. Yeah, we can do that.
Do you want them just burning in? Burn, baby, burn. Get Disco Inferno. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I was getting a little bit worried for Snow Skew. He has a horrible tendency of flying straight down with Dust Extractor. Treaky put that together for me last year. I still think it's fantastic. My favourite version of the snowman tune ever. I think my dividers are in the tool bag over here. That's the pocket they're in. Sing, baby, sing. Exactly. Merrin's Anti-Social Club. That's who did that. It was a cover for um, Radio 1 Live Lounge. Was it Radio 2? No, it was Radio 1 Live Lounge, I think. Uh... I think it did in 20 last time, didn't I? I went slightly short and went for 20. Do that. Yeah, that looks good. We're slightly out of focus there, aren't we? It's better. We're going round, cur curved across the top rather than straight, aren't we?
and then So for the center lines, all we do is set a pair of dividers and measure in from both edges. Maybe a little bit narrower than that. One line. That's two lines. So that's what's saying about it catching. Open those up a little bit. And then hopefully we can get enough pressure to burn without it stopping. Did I do... So I haven't got the other ones out here. Right. Did I do them at 20 or did I do them at 25 in the end? Obviously it makes a huge amount of difference because they work at both sizes. Lacquer is there. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Hmm. Hmm. Obviously over there. Where else would it have been? You can see mm. 
move that right away. Need scissors. Anyone got some scissors for neck kisser? FedEx them. Let's do that bit of a blast of air again before we do the waxes. On these ones particularly, I'm guessing upper lathe's the easy part. It's the buffing and polishing later when you lose them all. It's looking nice. Got my free. Who who needs um, fancy amplifying? You know, magnifying glasses when you've got a camera over a, over a lathe. Found them. Are we, are we on the Christmas cards, net kisser? Have you decided how many you're making? Yes and no. I'll stop when I feel I've got enough. No, not no, no, no. <laughs> start with one. Start at the very beginning because it's a very good place to start. Right, let's have the fun of carting that off now. 